Introducing the Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice, with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify the powers of your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for dropping in today. I'm very happy you are here. I want to share first that I have received several requests to discuss the topic of science and proof behind ESP and psychic functioning, as well as distant healing, its uses and validity. So I've heard you, and I've put these two exciting topics on the agenda in the coming weeks. We have that to look forward to. In today's podcast, however, I want to talk about intuitive messages and signals and the mind-body connection. And I'd like to begin with a quote by Carl Jung, the Swiss psychologist. Jung states that intuition is only one of four important functions of the human mind. It exists alongside sensations, thoughts, and emotions. Balancing these functions enables us to maximize our potential He wrote, I regard intuition as a basic psychological function that mediates perception in an unconscious way and enables us to divine the possibilities of a situation. The more you listen to your intuition and the more you act on what you know, the more heightened your awareness will become. It is the strongest connection you will have to your subconscious mind. It is also the most important bridge between your conscious and your unconscious minds. Serious seekers of supernatural connections should realize the interlinking of these two mental functions has the ability to give them unprecedented access to the source of all creativity, wisdom, and understanding. It is the link to the conceptualization of new and extraordinary thinking in the arts, music, literature, business, and even science. If you have confidence in the supernatural, you can count on being the recipient of unencumbered messages from the source of power. When you exercise psychic abilities, fortified by a strong and reinforced inner voice, you can count on the support of the universe. The only problem hindering a free flow of information is a channel contaminated by ego and self-aggrandizement. There is, however, a way to inoculate yourself against such contamination. It is self-awareness. A complete knowledge of self has the power to prevent the interference of ego and self-interest. Knowing yourself is an opportunity to fix things that prevent you from moving forward. It is also an opportunity to enhance those upright and noble parts of you. Move forward with a resolve to maintain healthy intentions and lofty goals for your psychic talents. As we delve further into the mind-body connection, it's important to know that your mind isn't the only recipient of emotional signals. Your body is used as a vehicle for receiving emotional messages too. The modern world keeps you focused on left brain activities and skills. So it may take some time to become reacquainted with your emotional side. You'll need to make a special effort to watch for signals emanating from your body and those generated through your thoughts. Welcome each signal by allowing it to form and then flourish. 
Empathy is one of those emotional signals to which you should pay particular attention. Empathy is the intuitive gift allowing individuals to experience others' emotions as if they were their own. Healers are empathic, as are many psychics and mediums. Highly empathic individuals find they can't spend time in malls or other crowded places because of the sea of emotional responses that psychically bombards them. They're so empathic that they sense and feel the energy of everyone around them, and consequently, they become overwhelmed. Empathy is a gift of the soul. If you are empathic, you may have to reinforce your capacity to remain balanced and centered. Grounding yourself in the here and now will enable you to find the balance you need. People who are empathic not only connect with the feelings and energies of others, but they often feel responsible for the well-being of others. It is common for mothers to feel this way. They have a strong psychic and empathic connection to their children. However, as children grow up, mothers must learn to let go and let the children take responsibility for their lives and decisions. It can be a challenge for empathic people, particularly healers and light workers, to let go and let others live their own lives. They have to let go without taking on their challenges or worrying about them. If you're highly empathic, it's important to allow others to learn their own lessons and pursue their own paths. It is important to do this regardless of any guidance you give them. As you practice and work on opening yourself to psychic experiences, you may find you have a whole bundle of new physical and emotional experiences. Don't ignore them. Keep a journal of when, where, and what you are doing or thinking when you experience a feeling. You must also begin to be more aware of your dreams. Information in dreams comes to you when it can't reach the waking mind. So develop the facility for recalling dreams. A dream journal can make you much more able to recall the higher vibration messages delivered to you in your sleep. Finally. It's important to drink plenty of water, get good sleep, and exercise daily. The care and attention you give to maintaining a healthy mind-body balance will serve to enhance your psychic awareness. As you take care of your body, in whatever ways work best for you, you will begin to notice a difference in your mental acuity. It's very difficult for a higher power to be housed in an unhealthy vessel. Take care of your body because it really is the temple of your soul. There's a solid relationship between a healthy body and the link with your higher power. All right. In closing today's podcast, I want to take the final moment to explain a bit more about intuitive and psychic information and messages and how they actually present. They come in many ways you're learning. They can present in inspired ideas, dreams, through automatic writing while drawing or playing a musical instrument. Often, messages present while in meditation or while giving or receiving intuitive or psychic readings. But more specifically, you'll find that messages come consciously and subconsciously. Meaning, messages from your intuitive psychic ability may present like a gut feeling. You sense that you just know something, yet you don't know how. In these moments, when a gut feeling has presented, you are consciously aware of messages. Messages might also be received unconsciously. Speakers, authors, and artists naturally use their gifts of intuition while in the depths of creating. 
you may find that you consciously or unconsciously tap into the divine mind for creativity and inspiration. Both are fine. You know you are experiencing intuitive insight because the information will feel like an idea has come from a higher consciousness. Often it just pops right in organically. You might also then notice a feeling of being compelled to put that inspiration into fruition by taking action. I'd like to leave you with an exercise today. Some time in your week, take a moment to consider your past few days where messages of knowing from your intuitive side may have tried to present to you, yet you ignored it, or perhaps you didn't ignore it. In either case, recall that memory and let that come in. Don't look for that memory. Don't search for it. Just ask it to come in. Did you have a feeling someone you had not seen for some time would call and did? Did you find yourself saying, I knew it, surrounding an event? Was there an inner knowing about a decision that you made? Did the perfect words or artistic creation come to you at just the right moment with a feeling of exuberance or excitement? Perhaps, out of what seemed like nowhere, you received an inspired idea that resolved a particular issue of importance. I want to ask you to jot this memory down and any related details. In doing this simple exercise, you're saying hello to your intuitive side. You're opening that door wider. In this way, you become ready to not only allow new bits of guidance in, but you'll begin to recognize and respond to intuitive messages as they arrive. And finally, as your sensitivity increases and your awareness grows, you may notice that you become more sensitive to emotions and physical feeling sensations in your body. This is normal. As the ability developed for me, I often felt a whooshing sensation through my head. These are normal experiences, and you all may have them. Just be sure to make note of the new body sensations and experiences in your journal. All right, then, you've got a few more tips and tools in your repertoire. As always, I invite your questions or comments via email at mbeltran at michellebeltran.com. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour. If you like what you heard, please share our podcast with a friend and be sure to visit michellebeltran.com to get Michelle's Kickstart Your Intuition online course. It's free.